Back in 2011, yeah. we did a little study on people Botoxing themselves, doctors. And even for those doctors, uh, you know, some of them did Botox. When you got to fillers, they said it's hard for us to do. We can't really filler ourselves. When you're doing these threads, I don't understand even the vector, like the direction these patients are coming in. You have to be like on the side of somebody, behind somebody. How do you imagine they're even doing this properly? Then there is a vast learning curve to threads. I train doctors all over the world, and even the best doctors, the most skilled surgeons, it takes some time. There's a learning curve to it. So I, can, I can't even imagine how these folks that have absolutely no medical background and have zero training in anatomy and understanding of how the body works and the, the layers and depths of the skin, how they're even remotely doing this safely. So, Dina, you know, you, we understand you've also been involved in fixing threading complications from people that went to inexperienced providers. So tell us more about that. Yeah, all the time. I mean, when you go to someone that doesn't really have the skill level or experience, so many things can happen. Things like infection, things like thread migration, facial deformities, even something more serious like nerve damage that may not be fixable. Uh, I recently had a gal who was referred to me from uh, across the country, and she had a very large barbed thread placed in her jawline and it actually it wasn't anchored properly, so it wasn't inserted correctly. Um, and it literally migrated from her jawline all the way to her lip, which caused excruciating pain and was extremely difficult to remove. And Ben, you know, in the right hands with a skilled provider and the right patient, that somebody who doesn't need a major face neck lift, somebody just wants a little, uh, lift that they know is not going to last as long as a facelift, then it's a good procedure. Yeah. But you and I have both seen, in the course of doing facelifts, we've seen the craziest things once we open people up and find threads oh, yeah. and, and other fillers and stuff that are not doing the right job. So just another reason why, you know, don't do anything yourself. Make sure you go to the right provider. Uh, that has a lot of experience. And, and I want to bring up, Ben, because a lot of people online, they're just sticking those smooth the little threads in their face, so many all over their face. It looks crazy. Yeah. And you say that people think this stuff is like vitamins. Yeah, they do think it's, it's healthy because people say you're going to build collagen. So collagen for everybody is like, oh, great, let's just put more. They don't understand there's disorganized collagen, there's organized collagen formation, there's this plane, there's that plane. Collagen can be bad. So you can't just keep going and sticking in threads over and over again like it's a vitamin deposition and hope that it gets better. You can actually really change your tissue consistency where people normally have this soft, supple skin and it gets more rigid over time. And you see a lot of actors and actresses, whether it's from heat therapies or from threads, when they do it too much, you can actually get this kind of rocky look to your mm -hmm. skin quality and you start throwing shadows, you get little dimples and things like that. So we tell people, well, if you do threads, you do it with someone very good, and you don't do it repeatedly over and over again. It's not going to make you better and better. You know, Mo is not Mo better. You got to like stop at some point and say, you know what, I'm just going to do a little touch up with threads, do a little filler, a little heat therapy. And if you can't get more out of it, just call it a day. Great advice. Thank you so much, Dina. Absolutely. Just in short, it's a terrible idea if you're looking to DIY something like this. I would strongly advise against it. Amen.